<gasps> What's Poppington? I'm absolutely fucking destroyed. <laughs> oh, we can. Uh... No, we started. Was that the What's Poppington to start it? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, uh, more energy. Cuts no, actually, in. this is a low energy podcast. Low energy uh, podcast. We're day. vibing. Low energy episode. And uh, we I'm have so many crazy. topics. Oh yeah, man. Peter Good hasn't slept in three days. Great one. Because Peter's been was, out uh, murdering children for the past three days, so he's kind of tired. If you see me on the uh, news. Peter, tell us why you're tired. Tell the audience. All right, so. I went on a trip and I saw this kid just walking about, right? <laughs> and yeah. he, had, he had on like, a, I think he had an ice lolly or something, but he just looked too happy. Was he of any specific race or was that, was it racially nah, charged? It wasn't, it definitely wasn't. That's okay, I, that's good. I, I don't see color, I'm colorblind. That's nice. So, you know, he was just walking about waddling and his happiness was he normal. fat? A bit, like he was kind of round, you know, like a little Oh, football. yeah, yeah, I hate them. So you see my thought process here. I saw a little football waddling, being too happy, came and fucking punted him. Nice. Could you score? Where, where did you connect them? In the head or like just in the stomach? Just you know, just full body, full body. Oh, you know, like, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he was, he was, he was a relatively small child. So could I, you could you give a guess on the age? About three months. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What? <laughs> Yeah, three months and... old was waddling down the street <laughs> on its own. <laughs> and uh... I think you can lift your head up by three months. How? How? What does this mean? How? How does? How is this? In like, <laughs> he's no, getting the last three it, days. Makes him tired, man. <laughs> yeah. Get into it. Yeah. All right. What? So was it just the punt that made you tired, or where did he go? I mean, listen, that did take a lot of energy. Did yeah. he just fall over, or did he go flying? No, he went flying. He went so flying. What, you, I, I, you had I to go a, on the run? Yeah, got a good distance. Got, got, got a good distance. And then, like, the police came down. And I, obviously, I waited by the crime scene. You, know? <laughs> so you, you called it in. <laughs> so I wouldn't be suspicious. <laughs> Respectable. Exactly. And then they asked, and then I told them, yeah, I saw this lad like, kick this kid. And it was, like, you know, a few hundred feet. And you're like, oh, wow, that's actually... You know. <laughs> yeah. You're bragging? Yeah, you the police? They were talking about the, the logistics of it, you know? Yeah. So like, how did he go? How did he do it? You know, he, he must have a leg on him. <laughs> so, 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 they're they're like, man. Man. Me. And then the recruiter for Man United came. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Sir Alex Ferguson came back. Came down <laughs> I was like, yo, big man. I got a spot on the team. So, long story short, I had to fly to England <laughs> to play in a match. Play and... a match against Spurs? Yeah, no, I was, I was, I was there. I got to play like the last few minutes, but like you know, the team, the team kind of cut out, so you didn't ever really saw me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was there. Too bad I the ball there. wasn't a child. I know, honestly, I couldn't really. I, you know, it's weird. You no, know, the, the kid kind of like wrapped around my leg as I kicked him, so I got more distance. It was a good connection. Yeah, it was a good connection, but the ball, you know, it's, it's too flimsy. It's kind of, it's not, it's not great. <laughs> but I scored. <laughs> yeah, I scored. Obviously. Yeah, you pull it up. You see me run down the wing. <laughs> Just off camera. <laughs> All right, so that's a solid excuse for being tired, I think. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like do? What did Carol do? Why are you tired, huh? Went for a cycle like a little bitch. I did a took an exercise. Yes. I also went to sleep at three a.m. last night and woke I don't up believe at like that. nine. Nope, that's not, that doesn't sound like a, like something. That's a solid six hours. Oh, why would you wake up at nine though? I just Definitely. woke up and then I couldn't get Carol, to sleep. Stop anymore. lying. Um. Okay. Yeah, this I story actually, is just unrealistic. Honestly, I was actually trying yeah. to no catch babies the died. baby that Peter caught or er, kicked. So. Exactly. Yeah, he had to take a flight little, to Outer exactly. Mongolia yeah, to try. Little little punt return. <laughs> 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 a little, little bit of two touch. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we can tell that story. Something yeah. actually happened to us in real life that we can talk about. Yeah, we went outside. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a cringe thing that we did, and I'm never doing it again. But we went. Um, that was know, last... your idea. You yeah, no, it. yeah. When was it? Last week. It was like Wednesday. Yeah, Monday. Not Monday. Monday. It was Monday. Uh, we went to uh, we went to Manute to go play some some b ball, and then we ended up. Peter still can't dunk. 
computers to suck ass. Well, you have. Um, yes. But that's not really the story, because after that we were like, fuck it, man, we'll get some drinks. And it, at the beside where the court was, there's like a big grass field, and there was loads of people just sitting down drinking. So we were like, fuck it, man, we'll join them. And uh, we literally got went a few Ronas, you know, feeling feeling in the sp in the spirit of the disease we got That's some an, coronas and uh nice little non-alcoholic copper burger oh yeah for the designated driver mm -hmm. and then um and then we were just chilling and then uh carl decided he wanted to play two touch with a drug dealer so <laughs> um that was that's just plain wrong but anyhow no, we but that's what we happened were playing, <laughs> yeah. we, were playing, we were playing a little bit of two touch right and then uh, this crackhead decides to come over, sprint over to us as the guards show up. Because hmm. um, they're just kind of patrolling the scene or whatever. And then uh, um, he goes past the ball and then our little friend Sean decided to pass him the ball. <laughs> so Man, then he proceeded to tell too. us that um, the guards were out looking for him because they raided his house last week because they found 10 grams of coke. But luckily he wasn't in the house. Ah, uh, um, he got away with it. And then uh, someone snitched on him, so him and his five mates and a few other boys are going to stab up whoever uh, snitched on him, and then they're going to go to prison. That's um, his plan. I think he's in he prison right now. planned to go to prison. Yeah. No, so, yeah, he's like fully well expecting to go to prison. Yeah, so so why, why was he playing game? Like... <laughs> he's planning on killing someone just to like, you know, for one last hurrah before he goes to <laughs> Oh man, listen, if you're gonna go to prison, you might as well do something. Oh, but yeah. there's silver linings. He stopped smoking weed for a year, so. Ah, that's not nice. Because it gets too addicting. <laughs> but he sells I'm, coke? I'm, I'm sure he's replaced that with something else. Yeah, something harder. Probably much stronger. <laughs> weed didn't do it for him anymore. Yeah, it's just heroin. Yeah, no, the the weed was too much for him, man. Yeah. Uh, so why, why did he come over to play the game? Oh, did you say that? So... This guy, he was, for the people listening, uh, he was in the middle of, the, like, a screen, like, pretty big. And so he was kind of in the middle. We were, like, near the nearest group to the guard car. And uh, he was in the middle, like, away from, like, really far away. You couldn't have, like, noticed him, whatever. And he decides to come over towards the guard car and play football with us. So we're the only people <laughs> playing football at the time. On the green, and uh, he decided that would be a great way to blend in. <laughs> so yeah, so he was hiding from the guardie. Yeah, good on him, man. Yeah, honestly. I just also, he he looked like a drug dealer. Oh yeah, dude. Like picture like a drug dealer, been... and it was him. You're not as noticeable. Because <laughs> <laughs> like everyone would watch the people playing football. Look. Hmm. She was fucked. So me all's got kind of. Well, I wouldn't say fucked up, but you were pretty far gone, especially Peter. Uh, yeah, Peter was well, locked, man. Shut up, Adam. Well, Y'all were fucking, were just, you took a turn, like, all of a sudden. We were just having fun, we were vibing. Yeah, mm. man. Just we're just enjoying ourselves. We were, we were in Minute, like, 20 to 12, and Peter's like, right, step on it, we have to get back to big points. <laughs> We're gonna get oh, no, 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 whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, don't act as if, like, no, we, this is, this was discussion, right, we, you said, you said it to me, be like, oh, do you think we make it back, and I was like, yeah, if we try, we go for it, I was like, okay, you said, you said to me, we can get there in, like, 20 minutes, I was like, okay, let's go, this is a discussion, don't, don't try and throw me under the bus there, you, like, 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 like a fatty, yeah, called, don't, don't try, sorry, call, like sorry, fatty. Peter. Mm -mm, no, sorry, I, I wasn't having it, I wasn't having it, see, the, the people listen, <laughs> listen to while Peter's some 400 pounder, yeah, yeah you know. he's actually only 359. Um, thank you, thank you, John. Put some respect on my name. He's lost £5 in the last week. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> how much you put it back on? Maybe. Yeah, dude, we got some pizza then as well. That shit was nice. That shit was actually incredible. Well, listen, yeah. I, honestly, I'm kind of, you know, I, I take that back. It was nice, but there was too little, like for a meat feast, there was no meat. Dude, oh, I don't know. I'm I was sorry about drunk, that, man. so I just kind of ate it. I, I don't really I don't remember. Know, listen, I, I didn't wasn't complaining, but I remember yeah. critiquing this shit. I was like, man, for me, feast, this ain't really neat. You just basically said I wasn't complaining, but I remember complaining. I mean, I was... Okay, so... 
<laughs> don't think about. Don't listen to the logistics. <laughs> don't listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah don't <laughs> just, just feel what I'm saying, right? You under, you understood what I meant. Yeah, so. yeah, no, I understood. Yeah, yeah, not really, but you sure. Um, yeah, dude, we got a fuck all to talk about. Let's go with the movie, I suppose. Yeah. Should so why? I, <laughs> uh, why? Well, well we have to one. we have to pick a movie for next week too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, John, you had you had some strong feelings about it. It yeah. So okay, just for context, our movie last week I put it up for a vote, either three hundred, because that's a lit movie, or The Exorcist, <laughs> because I hadn't seen it in a long time and I watched a video about it and I was like, oh, that could be interesting. So then, I, on so like three or four days ago, I went to my girlfriend's house. She moved house and. I, we were like, oh, let's watch a movie. And I was like, yo, I got to watch The Exorcist <laughs> <laughs> for for the podcast, you know, my world famous podcast that I have. And she was like, all right, let's watch The Exorcist. She falls asleep in like three minutes. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> nice. The film is like six hours long, <laughs> man. <laughs> and nothing happens. She gets possessed. There's no jump scares, which is fine. Like, Jump scares are cheap yeah, and shit. Yeah, it's more just but, like uh, freaky. Yeah, but it wasn't even like maybe in like 1960 or when did it come out? Like 1973, maybe 73. like 1973 or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it was freaky, but like it wasn't even scary, and it was I just I was just laughing at it. Yeah, it's more funny to be honest. Well, maybe it was scary then, but yeah, as you said, but it was it was pretty funny. Like when she's peeing on the carpet. Yeah, top ten scene, and she's stabbing herself, and the 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 bits with the cross and saying "fuck God." Yeah, that was pretty funny. She's, she's like, "Let Jesus fuck you." Yeah, <laughs> but she says it like really weirdly too. She's like, "Let Jesus fuck you." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Who's saying this?" Like, <laughs> um, yeah, it was really funny. She vomited all over the priests and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so like good night and out. she, man, she bitch slapped her mother like three times. <laughs> Yeah, she like that daily. grabs her and she's just like, bah! you know, like just like backhand that bitch, like get out of my face, you know. <laughs> yeah, so that yeah. was that was a terrible experience. I'll never, uh, let's never do that again. Kind of disappointed in myself, but that's fine. Also, just... Peter didn't watch it at all, so that's you know what. Man, I don't could blame, you blame him. him. I don't blame him. Yeah. He was tired yeah. punting babies. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Man. Um, so Who's trying to pick? Is it mine? It's yours. It's yours, unfortunately. Uh, I'm picking prisoners. <sighs> <laughs> All right, I'm okay with it. I only what watched it like. The thing, prisoners. Yeah, the thing is, I've already seen it, so like yeah, I can't. I feel like you watched it like two weeks ago, and John did the same. Yeah, exactly. I, I watched it like pretty <laughs> it was recently. Just me and Carl. Yeah, you guys have to watch it. Mm -hmm. Oh, honestly, have you not seen it? No, I don't no, know. I haven't even it's, heard of it. It's, it's a unreal. Incredible. It's really, really good. You won't regret this one. And there's a lot to talk about in it, so... Yeah. For uh, for next week, I have a new system set up. So no I more have Sharktopus? A... Well, I can put them <laughs> in if you want, but... Um, no, I'm good, Chief. I've got a board with, at the moment, 26 movies. Oh my god! <laughs> all numbered. So I'm going to do a random, like number generator or something between 1 and 26 and then whichever number comes up whatever that you know correlates with that's the movie i'm gonna pick 26 movies yeah is there even that many movies in real life <laughs> do you want me to call them all out uh give me like the first 10 first 10 okay uh american psycho pursuit of happiness stand by me goodwill hunting the prestige predator last crusade spirited away a clockwork orange and the goonies um okay they are very different <laughs> oh yeah, yeah it's kind of weird very different movies it's a lot of good movies and then some not so good movies yeah i've seen most of them i think but they're all really good or yeah well some of them are I've n i don't think i've seen anything you listed there You've never seen the Goonies. Yeah, you would have no, not not many people have. You've seen Last Crusade. That's Indiana Jones. What do you mean not many I people have seen Indiana Jones? Oh, what? Th yeah, Man, Indiana Indiana Jones is the best even now. I don't. I have no. I probably have watched Indiana Jones, but I have no recollection of it. Oh, y'all are degenerate. He's pulling your dude. man's heart over his chest. Yeah. 
combat thing. I remember everybody stop. turning to or everybody melting at the end of one of them. That's yeah, that's Raiders. That's the first one. Mm. Yeah, I definitely that's have sick. seen them. All right, now we have to think of actual things to talk about, which sucks. What have y'all been doing all week? I ha we actually haven't talked very much this week. Yeah, no, we haven't. We've all been kind of busy. You all have been being yeah. simps. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Peter Peter was simping. I was. I don't simp. I never simp. So are you, dude? I never simp. All right, Listen, man. I got paid for all my services. <laughs> <laughs> um, Peter simps. What did, I, what, what did I do this? Week? I didn't do well, anything, dude. I've had a pretty boring week. Mm. I never simp. I don't know what to play with. Yeah. Um, She's been kind of boring. We can game later tonight. Fuck you. All right, cool then. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have progress on the No Man's Sky shit. Yeah, it's and it's it, taken I've a, seen a, a sneak while. Peek, dude, it's it's looking sick. It's gonna be um, so good. Um, when it's finished, but goddamn, does it take a while? I spent. Yeah. I I logged on earlier on. I, when I say logged on, I mean I turned on my computer, and uh, <laughs> and I went to I went to continue editing because it's taken man it's taken so long I have like yeah. I have like a minute done and I've done more editing in it than I've done in every podcast ever, <laughs> but um I there's there's a bit in the video where Peter is like, man it's so hard why is it so hard. <laughs> And I wanted to just, I wanted to just put an eggplant emoji in, okay? <laughs> and I couldn't figure out how to get the eggplant emoji onto the video. It was impossible. I'm gonna have to go into like Photoshop and like cut out the white background. But then yeah, even yeah. that doesn't really work because I tried that on like, I didn't try it on Photoshop. I tried it on Paint because I thought Paint to be easier and it's just like a little <laughs> it's job. Not it's not easier at all and then i did it and i saved it and it didn't go in anyway it still had a white background so i ended up making zero progress nice but um, at least yeah got the vision yeah so yeah we're i'm we're doing like a, a montage thing at the beginning and then after that the editing will get easier but i yeah. just to introduce the series and the the start of our our gaming adventures uh, on the channel um, I thought it'd be cool to have like a little thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty neat. I like it, it's and I'm actually dope. enjoying it. Yeah. So um, yeah, we gotta do that. Uh, yeah. We gotta yeah. play some uh, other games too. Man, we played one of the days. Man. We we played hella Brawlhalla and just didn't record it for some reason. Man, <laughs> well, I don't know why we didn't. The, Brawlhalla is the fun like it's the funniest gaming sessions we ever have. It is incredible. We should record. We should record it, man. Play some, play some tonight and record that shit. I wish yeah. it was three v three online shit. Yeah. He's sick because when he goes high, it's two v two, which is kind of gay, but. Mm. I don't know, man. But the three, yeah, we'll, the we'll three, three, three man. I mean, yeah, the, the three of us against each other is always fucking gas. Oh my god. I end up getting targeted because I am the best. Oh, That's just fuck. not true, <laughs> man. <laughs> That is just I not know. true, I'm man. Saying, like, unless I play as a play. three month old, you'd never, you won't win. <laughs> yeah. oh, could you imagine getting Carl on that? He'd be the worst player in the world. Yeah, it'd be kind of just funny. Play. No, get him on it then, because it just takes is it on an ounce of yeah, an ounce of mechanical skill which you just lack. So, I mean, I I'll mean... play some FIFA or something. <laughs> oh yeah, man, I, I, that'd I, make I, an entertaining I, video. <laughs> I've, played, I've played you on FIFA and I've clapped you already. I mean, you haven't, but anyhow. I, I, I mean, I have. I mean, I you haven't. Every, well, every, yeah. every... Sorry, sorry. FIFA 17 and Sean's house. Yeah, that's fucking. Every FIFA game we've Man, ever played. FIFA's the exact same. Get out of town. Th thank you, John. Like, thank you, John. Every game we ever played, I've clapped your cheeks, man. Like, what was it? The last game was like 15 nil. What was it? I'm pretty sure it was something like that. 15 nil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 15 nil. Every player scored a hat trick. <laughs> um, Carl, I'd probably Carl. beat you at FIFA. Oh wow! Oh, wow. He's okay. calling me out there, man. That's it. I'm extending a challenge. Although I don't, <laughs> I don't have FIFA, so I don't know how <laughs> how we do that. But uh, someday, I'll fuck I you up. A funny thing we could do was a was a pro clubs thing. We make a pro clubs team, 
That would be the four, four of us played like on yeah, the same. Yeah, it's the most rage-inducing thing you could probably yeah, do. That'd, that'd piss a lot of people off. Yeah, uh, I don't even know what that means. Because, it's like be, yeah, we, because we all John, play on the same team. Never like, played it, like, like you're controlling the players on the same team against another group of lads. Oh, so it's like four v four, or yeah, so well, it can four be anything, versus yeah. it can be up to like eleven. It depends how many people are in the like in your yeah. party or like in the lobby. In the clubs, yeah. Oh wow, that's um, that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the joy of it. <laughs> it it's so funny because yeah. it's so like uncohesive and. Yeah, oh, I'd, I'd be done. done. We're I'd gonna do have a we're gonna have a like a great structure. <laughs> I don't think so. We can have John and Gold, so that he can just plan. go on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, man? I have a feeling the goals would be the most active part <laughs> of our team. <laughs> what do you mean? Their goals, maybe. <laughs> With our striker, Adam, up, up the top. Nah, man. Seven Seven one one <laughs> you know when you're playing FIFA and the goalie goes all the way to the other end of the <laughs> pitch <laughs> and starts shooting in, in the other team's goals? Yeah, that's um, that'll be me. Uh, yeah, that could be funny. Mm -hmm. That'd be funny. Yeah, we we'll find some other games to play. Um, Brawlhalla will probably be one of the ones that we play and upload. I'd say. The the editing on that could be fucking incredible as well. Yeah, yeah, man. No no pressure or anything. That's fine. No 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 <laughs> no pressure no pressure. Um, no, I was just saying the possibilities. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll have to get on that shit, and I I don't know when ranked Valorant comes out, I think that'll be pretty good as well. Yeah, that'll be a funny video. I mean, I'll I'll be there watching you guys play in the spirit because I can't, <laughs> yeah. I won't be able to play that. Like I'll be there, put my two cents in. You can share your screen, and I'll be there, you know, screaming yeah. with you. But I can't. Play, I don't have the skills for it. I can't play it. You can my say that again. Be... Thanks, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, man. That kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, quarantine has been really good for uh, just playing games with friends. You know. Yeah. I'm playing a lot of a lot of games, a lot of a lot of board games. Oh yeah, like what? Monopoly. I actually haven't. I've never. I haven't played a board game oh, in. Oh, you played the Monopoly game, the online one. Oh. Yeah, or or Uno, man. Just get Uno. Yeah. True. We can all get Uno. Even a, I'd say yes, you could run Uno on a spud. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can easily get it on the laptop. Hmm. Yeah. And then we play Battleship. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be entertaining. That would be what horrible. God oh, damn it. Battleship. <laughs> I've never played it. What? I say, I say we hop on chess, bro. Oh, that, I say we learn how to play chess. Because one I of us is bad at it, and that's gonna piss me off. Yeah, and it won't be me because I'm the least strategic person who has ever Peter lived. He's probably like read books on how to play chess. Oh yeah. See. <laughs> Peter's just secretly some kind of grandmaster that threw one tournament. Have you, have you said Peter, you play chess with some? Play chess with someone. With your yep. family. No, I, I guess I used to. I grew up playing chess, but like. I've completely not. Which no 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 not chess checkers checkers. Is man man, not chess. Uh, checkers. checkers. Bro, my I dog know, can play checkers. checkers. Yeah, I know. I mean that I was a kid, so I grew up playing like checkers. Like and chess was too complicated for like a fucking seven year old. <laughs> Only a pussy seven year old. <laughs> Fair. But yeah, chess is to like play like early teens. We played in school, didn't we? We played in school sometimes. <laughs> the games club. The games club, man, that was such a bop. Connect no, four. Was, connect four. Nobody could beat me at. Yeah. And and if you did, you cheated. Fucking games club, but Miss O'Donnell. Hey, big man, don't dox her. <laughs> <laughs> she lives in France. <laughs> she probably lives under a bridge, bro. I feel like she's homeless now. I don't know why. I just get that feeling. Hopefully. Ah. She was borderline homeless, even when she had a house. Psychopath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, teachers Crack are great. Head. Do we have any weird teachers? Um, 
Yeah, we did. I had a oh, teacher who teacher. just didn't care. I like, I have oh, recordings of him <laughs> not caring on my phone. Do you have a you have a recording of her not caring? Of him? Well, like no. Well, I okay. I should I should preface. I have a recording of two of my classmates fighting in the middle of the classroom, like fist fighting, oh. and <laughs> and the teacher is like in the background of the shot like again like leaning or like looking at something like in a press or something and he turns mm. around and he looks at them and then he just turns back <laughs> <laughs> what a hero yeah it's really funny he was a really good teacher i like him a lot that was for construction so obviously it wasn't a real class at all <laughs> like a fighting ring after school oh, you yeah. right. I, I don't you never did construction there was no. one um in one of our construction classes, our construction teacher went to bend down at a, like, the class already ended. And he bent down to go, like, in a press to go get, like, a, like, some kind of T-square or something. Like, he was looking for a specific thing. And one of our classmates thought the teacher was one of us. And went by, went behind him and just fucked him. Oh, uh, like, like dry hop. Like, prop, like, a good, like, not one thrust, like, a good few. Who no was it? way. Uh, what's, his, what's the first letter of his name? J. Oh, for fuck's sake! What an idiot, man. K just J H. No. J H. J B. Yeah, I understood who it yeah, was. Yeah. What do you mean J H? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert's friend. Oh, oh no, not him. But yeah, Kim. I just you know, just the whole nine yards go bang, bang, and then like the teacher <laughs> came up and his face was completely oh. red. And he, he was like so, he felt so violated, you could see it. Jeez. Did anything happen? Hmm? Like afterwards? Yeah, well, yeah like principal, everything. <laughs> Sent to the office the whole, the whole nine years, yeah. Yeah, because what what's your excuse there? Oh, sorry, I thought I was dry humping someone else. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's exactly what he said. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what he said. He's like, I thought you were this person. And then he's okay. like, Okay, oh, well, still. <laughs> How could you think it was someone else? He was already, like, he would have to been wearing our uniform. Man, he, he my mom was just tapped. Yeah, he was a stupid idiot. Ah, oh, fucking hell. <clears throat> Do y'all miss school? <laughs> no. <sighs> no. Yeah, school primary was school, ass. Dude. Primary school was fucking lit. Dude. Yeah, primary school was unreal. And Even in primary school, primary school was lit. Yeah, I loved primary school. It was so much fun. Oh, it was the best. You could just do what? Do yeah, what I was. I was thinking back at secondary school recently, and specifically like fifth and sixth year, um, which are like the two final years. So like seventeen, eighteen, I think sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, um. Well, probably younger for you guys. <laughs> you you left early. Yeah. But uh, I was eighteen, leaving the secondary school. But um, man, that was. Those are the worst times ever. The worst. They were horrible. And it wasn't. I'm I, I'm thinking back, and it's not even the classes I remember. It's the break times I remember, and it was Gosh. just horrendous. Like just. Yeah. I I just never had fun. Everybody was. It was just a horrible. It was just a horrible experience. I suppose that depends on your friends as well, I guess. Yeah. Because like, uh, me and Peter, I guess, had similar situations. Like, we'd have our groups to go to uh, on break time, and you just fucking sit there until it's over, basically. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it was, I, like it just felt like I, a waste. In, like first of time. year, we played football and stuff, but then that was gay, so we well, I stopped. And then Peter, you kind of didn't play it that much, but played it every now and then. Yeah. Um, but I'd literally just sit there with Michael and Sylvester and just fucking, I don't know, talk about random shit, make fun of people or something, and then go back to class. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It was just boring. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It all just felt like a big waste of time to me. So then I decided, that was when I decided I wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go back? Yeah. Now, te again. teaching is like, the reason I wanted to be, I, I don't know if I've actually said it. I think we have talked about what we're doing in college, but I'm, I'm tr in college to be a science teacher, science and maths teacher, and uh, I think, like I, I don't think, I think people think that going back as a teacher is gonna bring back like all the shitty memories, it's gonna be a shitty job and stuff, but uh, 
from the work experience, I don't think that's true. I think it's a different kind of shitty. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it's a whole mean? new experience, like it's a whole new shitty experience. Yeah, yeah. that's flat, man. Man, students are dickheads. Well, I mean, maybe it's because I look like one of them. Uh, you know, there was definitely like six-year students when I was doing work experience in a school that looked older than I did. And I'm like a, a going into third oh, year right of college, yeah, 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 and they're yeah. like, they're like, what's the story with you? And I'm like. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, I am your superior. <laughs> Can't you see me wearing regular clothes? That's probably why he was asked, what the fuck, man? Why do you get to wear regular clothes? Yeah, he's like, he's like, man, who's the second year out here not wearing his uniform? <laughs> nah, it's oh. going to be fun. I'm doing it for the breaks, to be honest. <laughs> you get a whole off. summer off. Yeah. Got a paid summer off. Two weeks off. Every yeah. holiday off gonna be lit that is true i still don't know what i want to do i just gotta want to lie down i said that last week like right now or no, i just want to lie down all the time oh i'm pretty sure there's jobs where you can do that if i could die i want to be an astronaut because be alive, be because can you imagine like being weightless like that sounds like the easiest job yeah, ever dude, sick. like you don't have to you don't even have to lift yourself up Um, it's probably fucked though. Being an astronaut. Do you guys ever watch them videos that come up? Where like astronauts are like, oh, how how do you do this in space? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's that guy's name? The real. He's got a mustache, I don't know. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Seems Mm. like a nice guy. Like how you brush your teeth in space? That was kind of fucked up. He like. Wash your hair. Yeah. He like, uh, swallowed the toothpaste, which I don't know. It's just a cringe. Like, I cringe. When I think about that, swallowing the toothpaste, like, that sounds fucked up to me. Yeah. And then he, like, I don't know, he, like, cleaned the toothbrush afterwards by putting water in his mouth and, like, spitting it onto the toothbrush. And I was like, that's not clean. <laughs> I don't know. It's something about toothbrushes. It's like, yeah, it's just reusing the water. Yeah. Kind of fucked up. But, yeah, astronaut sounds awesome. Um, Fuck me, man. Yeah, and, and you know, college is lit, and uh, schools no, wait, are what lit. What date is it? Twentieth. Today. Get results back. I don't know what day is you get your results back, but mine is the third. Mine are expected back on the third of July. I think mine are like the sixth or seventh. Yeah, I think mine are sixth as well. Trash. Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm I'm not really looking forward to seeing it, to be honest. I'm not, I, I don't know about this this semester. I think I should be okay, but I just want to have when I have to. Re- yeah. Well, it's, I, yeah. I'm fucking hoping it's an online test for the repeats. Yeah. Instead of having to go in because if if it's that, dude, it's gonna be the easiest shit ever. True. And I might actually be able to get into second year. But I suppose I'll just have to see. Yeah. <clears throat> if I get if I get into second year, it's actually the biggest comeback in college history. Probably. Well, I mean, I, I'm sure there's probably ways and and stuff. I'm not Let's really bothered. Like, like, yeah. really or just or mm-hmm. get given out to. Me. But I mean, that'll probably last two seconds, and I'll just say, hey, listen, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. And like, oh, he's not bothered. Then I don't give a fuck. Mm. I uh, was talking to my mom about possibly deferring. I was like, you know, deferring is always an option because I don't I don't work well with the online stuff. Um, I don't know why I do all my work in college. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just when everything went online, I kind of just lost interest in everything, and I was kind of worried that that would happen again. And third year is worth like thirty percent of my overall degree, so I was like, well, if if the if I defer and I do better in third year like next year, and like it works out better in the long run, then that would be worth it. But my mom was like, nah. Nah, no, fuck that shit. She's like, yeah. What do you mean, man? We're gonna be in hype house next year anyway. Hype house. Hype house. Yeah, we are. Uh, we've said it before. Oh, mm. Hopefully, move in together. Oh. Yeah. I say we all just move into my current house with my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
and uh, yeah. I'll drive you to college every day. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, hop into the car, guys. <laughs> That'll be shite. That'll be awful, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think this week is just universally the f- the fastest and most tiring week everybody in the world has ever had. Yeah, dude, I've been yeah. just chilling. I haven't actually done it. I've kind of just been lying in my bed and reading a book. Oh, see. Uh, what a fucking so do, do you watch on Netflix The Order? No, no. I, I genuinely, it's a weird one to recommend, but I mean, if it's more if you're bored or whatever. But it's like, so do you know of, you know, Sabrina, the remake they did, the like gritty remake of Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Yeah. Mm. That's fucking awful. The first season's okay, and then it just gets genuinely terrible, and they try to turn it into this weird, sexy thing, but the girl just unfortunately doesn't give off that vibe. God bless her. Um, God bless her. Like everyone else does, like all the lads and all the other females are like you know all right all right and get into this and then he just pops up and you're like well now it's ruined but um <laughs> how does he go as dick as hand wash <laughs> but um but dude the order it's like it's just about it's kind of similar if you know what i mean like it's it's about a uh, like witches and like not witches i guess it's more yeah i guess it's it is witches but like magic people using magic but it's mm. like super fucking dark like the whole point is they use blood magic where they have to make a sacrifice to to use the magic right the the more like the bigger the spell or the more effective the spell the more they have to sacrifice so like Mm. if they want to like uh i don't know do something to throw someone across the room they like slice their hand open yeah they will carry a knife around with them and like slice their hand open and and then say the spell and then that counts as the sacrifice and then obviously if you want to like kill someone you have to like sacrifice a person or a fucking goat or whatever i don't fucking know but uh yeah i just finished the they released the second season there and it was actually super fucking good girl in it is so attractive and i don't know why because you're looking at it and you're like i don't know man and then i don't know she just has a sexy or something something about it yeah i'll have to look into that i've never even heard of that that sounds kind of super late. gruesome as well it's fucked up like they show some fucked up shit and i didn't expect it because you're kind of like it's not a kid's show necessarily but it's like a teen show yeah and uh but yeah they show some weird ass shit and That's... uh another show to recommend is the um midnight gospel Never. it's Never like a, it. it's a it's a like a character like an, it's an animation and the character oh, yeah. but it's like it's an lsd trip man just watching the thing i think like they take they cut the audio from like an actual podcast or something so like in like the, the what the characters would be talking about, they'd be talking about loneliness or depression or like anxiety or some shit like that. But then, like the cartoon, like the characters are doing dumb shit. Like it's a, it's an LSD trip under the but like they're talking about real shit. Like <laughs> honestly, that, it's it's so, that like that's the best way I can describe yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch it to understand what you're saying. You don't understand what I mean? Like look it up, the Midnight Gospel. It is f- incredible. You, I feel like you can only watch like one episode without getting a headache. Oh. Get to, and like, you know, that, that's why it's just really fucking weird. But you know, you should watch it. It's really good though. I'm so adding it episode. to the list. <laughs> my list bro. Shut up, man, with your fucking 26 movies, head ass. It is it oh, did we pick a movie for next week? We didn't. Oh, we did. Prisoners. Never mind. This guy, man. Bruh. I'm like yeah i don't know um we did have some topics just like one why all drugs should be legal oh yeah we didn't talk about that last week should all drugs be legal guys i think i personally think that every drug in the whole world should be legal Um, you know I, I, i think they should give out samples (laughs) (laughs) get out testers yeah no man legalize weed in it legalize weed and then you know people will be happy enough with that and they'll leave the rest are shrooms shrooms illegal what are shrooms illegal 
I'd imagine like, there, yeah. Like, like if I go out into a field and pick up a mushroom and eat it, can I get arrested? No, I don't think so. I think it's more like the selling of drugs, right? Things yeah. like possession and selling. Yeah, possession. I think there's no yeah. thing on usage. Just eat yeah. it mad quick, man. Yeah, just don't uh, like if you only have it in your possession for like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, you know, what's the chance that they'll get you? Uh, another thing, they're legal in. You can buy them in Amsterdam. Shrooms, yeah. Sh- yeah. I think, or that might be a myth, not a myth, but like a. That could be wrong. Mm. Uh, but I think I heard that. Uh, Magic yeah. mushrooms were only. Uh, banned in two thousand and six. Oh wow! Oh, damn! After missed my opportunity. Died. Legal in Amsterdam, twenty twenty. Here was soft drugs. And hallucinogenic. Yeah, I think any mushrooms. magic mushrooms. Any synthetic. Um synthetic drugs i don't think should be allowed but anything that like you can grow out of the ground it's so natural bro natural remedies bro natural but then again i don't know why they're not legal like do you get me yeah like why is alcohol legal yeah but you're pretty much doing the same and thing and like... isn't yeah i mean it's a, it's a different kind of in you're like yeah, incapacitating yourself. The, the point yourself is to change your mindset, way. like so. I know it's different, but yeah, like, I don't I, know. I but like, they but uh, tax everything. Yeah, literally, like that's that. Like America is thriving like off the, the money that they make off yeah weed. And then plus, the, it'd be like because it'd be regulated, um, or somewhat regulated at least. They'll um, the all the like drugs or so would be cleaner and like. You're not just buying it off Jimmy down the fucking yeah, corner. Yeah. Like Who really laced really it like... with cocaine, like? Yeah. Yeah. Would you... Okay, so would you guys do weed if it was legal or mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah. Both? Yeah, at the same time. Honestly, yeah, I... mushrooms sounds gross. Like, I don't like eat, eating regular mushrooms that you can eat. I don't think you're gonna be eating them for that long i think you just chuck one in get it over with and yeah i don't know i think um i I, I don't know mushrooms are kind of gross man i try it probably i definitely smoke weed though do you want to do acid let's do acid yeah. man that's be lit so you have to be like you have to set up to do acid though it's not just like yeah you have to be ready <laughs> you do not exactly you have to be in like a space you're not gonna get panicked because it if you have a bad trip, apparently, like, people have died just from yeeting out windows and shit. <laughs> Fucked <Yeah>. you up. <laughs> yeeting out windows. You're like, nah, man. This trip is shite, man. And then you just jump out a window. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> I think it's more like a big demon appears and you fucking run away from it. But, uh... Could you imagine, bro, you're taking drugs and a oh, demon appears? Fuck. That'd be fucked real. Up. Oh, like, what? but what's a good be... trip? Like, does a does a good de- does a yeah, angel appear? Good. You can see shit, and, like you can like talk to things move, and you can Aliens. talk to it. Everything feels good. Like it's yeah. similar to a thing, but it's uh, but it's just kind of amplified. Cool. What are you gonna say, Carl? Um, I was gonna say you don't actually, cause I actually watched the thing. Um. Oh, it's Gwyneth Paltrow did a Netflix series of like these. Anything uh, from I don't want to hear. She the one that sell, sold her vagina smell in a candle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, um, like but she did like a whole. Well, there is this guy that was on it that I'd heard about, so that's why I watched it. But um, like before um, I even knew about it. But um, they did the mushrooms. Uh, they like drank a tea. So oh like yeah, you can do that. Yeah, they did that in midsummer. Do like weed you don't brownie, have to like, like eat a mushroom. Like. Yeah. Yeah, they did yeah, that in midsummer. No, I, I think saying, they yeah. had mushroom tea. That was a fucked up or movie. Some sort of liquid thing. Yeah. Don't ever watch midsummer, guys. Actually, put on, put on. Uh, no, not put on. Take acid and then watch midsummer. Jesus Christ. Man, I did that. It fuck you up. You'd want to jump out a window after that. Mark. To put it on the board. It's on Amazon Prime. It's on Prime Video. Uh, twenty-seven. I kind of, I might, might take some out though. I don't know. Do you have the SpongeBob SquarePants movie on there? Way to put it on. 
I don't yes. know, man. It's up to you. Uh, but on SpongeBob SquarePants, would be wild high. Yeah. Can we all meet up. Yeah. Let's so do we it. We just have to wait for that number to come up. Okay. What was the first? Peter, one? you strike me as somebody who wouldn't smoke weed. I don't. I wouldn't. You wouldn't. You know, time he told us. I don't think I Peter has ever told me that he wouldn't smoke oh. weed. No, I wouldn't. I, I, yeah. There's really not a chance of me ever smoking it. Would you? It. I'd probably eat it, but maybe. Wait, so what's the problem with smoking it then? I, like, there's virtually no problem. It's just, I don't, I don't know. I'm just really against anything with smoke. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, That's fair. Just, yeah, it's just, it's just a weird preference. Well, he was doing acid, and he had a bad trip, and a smoke monster attacked him, so he's Bro, just... like in Lost? <laughs> 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 Peter was actually in law. Nah, man. Yeah. That's just not true. It is. Peter was the smoke monster. Um, oh, uh, are we waiting for Adam to Google something? Yeah, no, sorry. I was going to make a joke, but I actually don't know any. I thought there was a famous person. No. It's yeah, James Holloway. Is. I, uh, I watched some of Lost. It was pretty good. Up until a certain point. Everyone was just like, the ending shit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to watch it now. I don't think I actually got to the ending, but whatever. Uh, Ian Summer? Whatever the fuck is Summer Holder's in it? Smolder Holder? <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> From Vampire Diaries? Yeah. Yeah, Ian Smolder Holder. Adewale Akinbiesco. Cool. Oh, and then his name's Mr. Echo in the show. That's a name. Oh, man. That sounds awesome. Like, with a K. So, anyway. so you've, you've nothing against getting high... Mm -hmm. You just have it against smoking it, so you'd yeah. you'd take edibles, or oh, or would you would because you, I don't know you kind of strike me as the person who you you'd be like, oh yeah I'd probably do that, but then when the time comes you'd be like nah I'm I'm good, do you know what I mean? No. Which is fine, uh, like there's no problem with that. Just a bitch. Just yeah. a <laughs> big massive pussy. <laughs> hey listen, man, you are what you eat. Oh yeah. Um, no, I'm <laughs> moving swiftly. <so far. laughs> no, it, I don't know. I don't have a, I don't have much of a desire to do it, right? But if I, if I, if if it ever came across the day when I'm like, oh yeah, I want to do it, I plan it and I do it. You okay? Yeah, yeah that makes sense. No, like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna do anything on a whim. Yeah, and I'm not gonna. Be like, oh, I'm feeling it, I'm gonna do it. You know, I'm, I, I just wouldn't do that. So that's fair. I'll allow it. Thank you, thank you for your approval. Yeah, so uh, over my house tomorrow, guys, we're gonna. <laughs> sit... I'll cook up some uh, weed bagels for. Dude, I could make some Peter. brownies. But you could, you just provide everything else. Provide the uh, plant material. <laughs> the devil's lettuce. The sweet Mary Jean. Hmm. Yeah, so that's uh, that's a uh, yeah. So to <laughs> conclude, <laughs> weed is good for you. Don't uh, do drugs, kids. <laughs> don't do hard drugs. All right, we'll do do whatever you want. I don't I don't care. I don't recommend doing anything more than weed. Sex. Maybe try acid once. I don't know. <laughs> go watch go watch some of Steve-O's videos and then decide for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. What was the other topic? Uh, the other topic was... So, okay. So, generally, it was just, like, fake news and, like, um, media blowing things out of proportion and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I think this is... Carl... I think Carl yeah, put it Carl, in. You, and you I think you were like... kind of... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. No, just because I don't, I didn't, I didn't understand it to be honest. So. Right. So yeah. basically, my point is. Here we go. Hashtag change my mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that the news is one of the main reasons why why everyone is depressed. Okay. <laughs> that was a, that was a really skeptical. Just, okay. That did change my mind. That's just leave it. Leave with it. Yeah, podcast. Evidence. 
The reason? Oh, oh, yeah, but why? Why do you think so? Okay, so when have you ever gone on, seen the news? I know no one watches the news, but like, right, right. The, the mainstream outlets of news, whether that's like Facebook or Twitter or the TV or whatever, okay? Okay. When have you ever seen good news? The Vegas shooting? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Because... I, I, Wait yeah. a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to bleep that one. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you said that with your chest. <laughs> I'm still gonna bleep it anyway, just to be funny. <laughs> yeah, no one knows. Um, um, oh, Kyle, I, I disagree completely. No, I know some good news. You know, Madeline McCann is dead. <laughs> She's not missing anymore. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, just got a bleep. <laughs> the ending we all wanted. Yeah, no, no, no. I know. I'm not saying yeah to that. I mean, uh, <laughs> no. As in, no, Carl, I completely disagree with you on that. No way. Because the the news, they're not going to report on anything like, oh, not to report. Like, no, yeah, but it's not. It's not, nothing good happening. Yeah, that's yeah the thing. there is not... literally millions upon millions of good things that are happening, but all you hear about is. Some guy yeah, died in a car the, crash. No, Another p- a politician important. didn't. Okay, but then what would you say to? Okay, for example, the, the the stuff that's going on in Yemen. Are you saying you just rather not know about that? No, well, that's technically not being covered. But like, yeah, I would like to know about that. But at the yeah. end, I would there like. But that is. I would. Have they need video. wholesome content. Yes, they need to <laughs> yeah, learn exactly. from. No, no, I, but like, because it's not like because then it's then it's then it's like then it's like, then it's like uh then it's like oh so. It's undermining um, the... Other yeah, show. so, the, I don't know, what the fuck, you know, everyone died in Yemen. Um, and now a cat video, like, it's like, you can't yeah, do that. that's it's exactly like a, what you're getting the territory of. Plus, I, I, I don't, don't know if you've I noticed, but... A... Yeah, no, go, on. So go on. No, you go on, you go on. Okay, no. I was just the gonna point? say... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, words. but there's a lot of, there's a lot of bad things going on, and not a lot of good things going on, so... Yeah, yeah. And, the good and like... Sucks. And the thing is, it's like... I don't give a fuck that Bob down the street managed to do three backflips in a row. No, bro, I'm that'd be sick. That. Could you imagine? But, but, I'm, but that's like, but that's gonna be the type of good news. Like, there's not gonna be any. Yeah, but uh, what like, I'm saying, you know, like the good news, like SpaceX, that was covered a lot. That was good news, wasn't it? That was covered a yeah, lot. Yeah, but like, and what, 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 what else? Yeah. What did you say, sir? If you were a flat earther, that was not good news. That, that was, not, you know, fair enough. <laughs> like, what else has happened? It was covered if you watch good. us. That you wanted to cover. Like, oh, just is, like what? say, um, just for like, I I wouldn't say there's anything in particular. Like my my interests aren't like obviously the same as everyone else, but like, um, uh, I don't know, habitats re recovering, um, you know, but uh, the all right, take uh the coronavirus, right? So mm-hmm. no, all the th- like things you're given is right. Twenty more people have, are dead. 100 new cases, blah, 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 every single day, every single day. Whereas seven, that's like 75% of people are asymptomatic. And then if you're under the age of 34 mm-hmm. with no underlying health conditions, you're more likely to get struck by lightning twice than to die from coronavirus. Yeah, so I don't know. You run the risk of undermining everything when you start when you start saying stuff like that, though. Even though it's facts. But you, yeah, but it's facts. So, like, why? It's not something to be scared of whereas the yeah, whole news is just like this fear mongering yeah but things no, machine but the, the fear mongering is bullshit because it annoys me it's like when it comes to um like for example that, that fact you said you like if you're under the age of whatever you're more likely to be struck by lightning yada, yada, yada. that's just going to reinforce some idiot in his head to be like oh, i'm going to go out anyway and then start doing all dumb shit and then he's going to spread it to other people who aren't like that so just because once you say those facts, I guess they are facts, but you're not putting it into the grand scheme of things. It's like yes, we understand what, what you're pretty much saying is you want the to, the news to basically be saying like everybody who gets it they can die anyway. It's not going to be us. Like that is literally what the news is going to become. Then they're they're saying all those things to be like to show the gravity of the situation, so people don't take it lightly. And then when you start saying little facts like oh yeah, like you, you can't go from one 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 scene being like yeah coronavirus is very very awful stay inside and then be like yeah but like you know on the other hand you're more likely to be shot by lightning twice and to die for this thing but you should stay inside nobody's gonna listen to that and be like go stay inside you can't you can't have to like pick your battles you can't yeah but uh, would you not say it's someone's choice to then go outside you give them two sides of the coin right 
there's a okay. there's a chance you can there's a certain percentage chance you could die from this or pass okay. it on to someone that can die from and then there's this percentage chance that you're going to be absolutely fine so why should the whole world shut down for 15 percent of people and you're essentially what, giving what? the choice to someone to kill someone else uh, yeah as much as it's not a guarantee there's a strong chance so and well, is, if you just don't go near to... old people yeah, but then we're, we're, we're reporting on hindsight. We're like we're we're debating on hindsight because the thing could have been a lot worse than it was. Oh like, yeah, no, like right, at yeah. at the start, like yeah. I was like I was full on. Yeah, everyone locked yeah. down because we don't know what it is. But now because we have more yeah. information on it, like the, I don't feel the whole yeah. picture is given by my like, and this is obviously like everything as well. But it's not just is, like, coronavirus. But but as times went on, like everything has been you know slowly opening up so as you got more information life has been slowly starting to like you know go back to not normality but you know sl we're slowly making progress there and you kind of have to understand like when it comes to stuff like disease and the shit it could it, it all it takes is one bad mutation and we're all fucked like, that, could, that could happen for anything though but that can yeah that's that the happen. flu the cold ebola like, anything oh, new like it doesn't have to be SARS. even something that happened before yeah. i'm saying but but this one is the one that's new like with a cold if it mutated or whatever like we have a better chance of fighting this one we, we don't even have we didn't have a, a way to fight the base of this one and it's already mutated like do you know what i'm saying like if it was to have mutated we couldn't even fight the norm the normal but, version. no but coronavirus is always a thing Coronavirus was here before any of this happened. It did mutate, and then it became dead deadly to us. Then the average age of death for everything. Yeah, but I, I, when it comes to like the news, I don't know. I don't know what like your like. I don't know what you want to what you expect in the news to be like. I think the just... I think the news doesn't report good things or bad things. I think they report news. Yeah, and I is. think when they start doing things other than that, it's no longer the news. Yeah, you just want to yeah. live. You just—it's kind of like naive. Like you just kind—is oh, he gone? No, he's back. He's back. Okay, you—you kind of just, just want to live. Listen in to my opinion. Shut up, Carl. Your opinion yeah, is invalid. There's no point in living in denial. Like you're better off hearing the sad shits. No. Yeah. You. Oh no, I'm, I'm not joking. saying like I think disregard the sad shit. The shits, point of like, the whole thing is the world the good... is fucked, and they report on it. No, but I feel like. Uh... Yeah, but there's a whole lot of good things. Where, like, give two sides of the coin me. instead of just giving you the shit all the time. Well, no, but but, but that, like, books, like it, who? It, what? How many things have you? Effectively, what you're asking for is to live in a bubble. Because you don't want. It's like you're saying I don't want to no. listen to certain things. No, like, oh, okay. So he does. So all right, I get. Well, right, give so... the facts of every, if these people are recovered. This is the infection rate. Blah blah blah. Give all the everyone that's died. Give mm. give them statistics. But then give also give. This is the number of people that have recovered. This is the number of people that um, don't have symptoms, but like it's important for them people not to go near old people and people oh, with underlying health. Oh, okay, okay, I can, I can back. That. Like instead of instead of like I'm not saying I, I I agree with you saying like oh yeah it just takes one person to go go near an old person and like yeah you can mm. kill someone but like there is ways instead of like a adapt into the situation of like 75 percent of the, like obviously these are very bl blanket statements but just for simplicity 75 mm. percent of the world is okay and fine so why mm. should why can't we all meet up and play football instead like but we have to sit at home even though we're there's a there's a three quarters chance that we're going to be absolutely a absolutely fine and b we're going to get we're, we're we're not going to die from it like the, the thing of we're more likely to get struck by lightning than to die mm. whereas why should all the shops shops get um go under because if they're not in business why should we all lose our jobs and and stuff like that whereas you all you I, get I don't, is i don't feel is that that's, that's the news's fault i i'm i i do not i think now well where do where does everyone get their new like their information from i know you're going everyone will say oh yeah online and stuff but they still yeah. have the the big power yeah, of but, the, but but the news doesn't doesn't shut down the shops the news doesn't do that that's like i think like, it does though because it, the it, news it, shuts down shops the, the news is not power like that yeah i didn't share the news i i feel like if the news didn't put everything out of control 
like it did at the start of this because it literally had nothing to like you know the way things go in cycles it literally had nothing to report on so it was like right australia is not on fire anymore and then kobe died so that's two things and then that, that's that was over with so they needed another thing to create and manifest itself now i'm not saying that it shouldn't have been covered because obviously it should have but the way it mm. was dealt and the information given to people it was all just we're all going to die we're all going to die we're all going to die okay for two weeks yeah that's like because we didn't know what it was where it came from blah blah, blah. there's all these conspiracy theories well, I, f- I feel like the news is just reactionary something happens the news just reports on it the, the news can't well, i don't think it should be reactionary so what, like, should, what should they do? Report something It should be happen? like statistical. No opinions should be given. You get all, any information yeah. that you have and then go, this is it. Make up your mind for yourself. And so, yeah, reactionary I, I, isn't, isn't like they're putting their opinion in it. I'm saying, I mean, reactionary is like something happens, they just report on it, right? They don't have the power to be like reporting it now, close all shops. Like even if they put their two cents in, they don't have the power to, to actually enforce that. The government already put people. No, but the, like the angry. influence of them puts pressure on uh, politicians, puts pressure on. So it, the news report, okay, okay everyone's mm-hmm. going to die. And then everyone like in public is like, oh, th- we, we got told we're all going to die. So why aren't the politicians shutting everything down? And why aren't they doing this? Why aren't they doing that? Even though nobody actually knows the proper inf- like all of the information yeah but then hmm but it, that, i like okay. i'm not saying directly I, I get that, a new a new like, if I, no but i i always thought i always thought the analogy of like of a plumber like if if a plumber is telling me one thing and then like one of my mates is telling me another i'm going to like, when it comes to you know my house the plumbing i'm going to default to the plumber's opinion so when you have scientists saying that we did we kind of there's some science saying we did the right thing and other science saying we didn't but I'm gonna leave it up to them to debate. Like people saying shit like oh, we're gonna die doesn't mean shit unless like I'm gonna listen to what the what the scientists are saying. And most scientists Yeah, no, but that like that would be you right that'd be you having a brain cell. Whereas like most of society doesn't have a brain cell to think uh, like but, analytically like that. Do you know what I mean? But I'm pretty sure scientists were like part of the thing to to lock down. Like they were part of the discussion. Oh, hey, oh yeah, yeah, like they're not. Yeah, but then it then as you get more information about it that it the the yeah, as uh, how do you say it? The yeah then it's not that's not projected of like oh you know what this actually isn't as bad and like not everyone needs a ventilator and like not everyone yeah, but like then, you're... but they were prepping for worst case scenario in case it could have been because if it if it oh yeah but like no i get yeah happen. no i get that and they sh- they should and they were right to do that but when when it comes out three or four weeks later that uh, okay we, it was better it was a better it was a safe than sorry approach which is like obviously i agree with that mm. but then right it was a better safe than sorry approach so now we're safe so why can't we start like you know speeding things up along and like not everyone but, did, but basically like... did, being in fear of something that we shouldn't be i i, I hmm like I still think you should be given. Yeah, these many people have died. This many people have been infected. These are uh, vulnerable groups. Blah blah blah. But then also give. These many people have recovered. The like you know I I any time I've watched the news now in the past three four weeks right because I've only just I never watched the news but then I was like you know I'm gonna watch it and actually see for myself because. I used to kind of watch the news and I was like, no, this is a lot of horseshit, but then like times have changed and stuff like that. But then it was still every single day. It's just right. 20 people or a hundred people, new cases and 20 people have died, but it doesn't give you where they are, who they are, um, underlying health conditions. In some cases they can't divulge that. In some cases they just can't. But why can't they? Against the law, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, but they're not given names. It's like, you just asked yeah, who they are. And secondly, no, not who they are, like, as in, like, uh, if they're uh, above the age of 80, if they have been in hospital for well, the last they do. three they years. Say, they say, like, so, like, oh, whatever, 20 people died, and if it's within the whatever, above 35 or whatever, there's no point in getting saying this guy's 50, this guy's 60. It's above 35. No, but I'm so saying average risk. age. But, but then they go, one of which was a child age seven. If it's a like it's a strange case, yeah, they'll say yeah. one of which was the, a kid. 
Yeah, but that's it's stupid because then everyone. That was everyone's... not stupid. You just said you wanted to know that. No, but then they don't give the okay. This is right, a child that seven died, but like the ninety nine other people are actually ninety five. But because Do you the, know what I mean? That's not unnecessary information. You assume no, they are at necessary. risk. You, you assume no, you that don't. Th yes, you do. Yeah, but if you're not a fucking idiot. <laughs> you can't just assume everyone's an you idiot. You can't. You look at society, the whole of society. No matter, like, the whole I Black Lives Matter thing. I feel, thing, like, I feel whole... like we're kind of straying away from, like, the fear. Like, the f I, I'm kind of, I think we're kind of straying away from the original point. I don't even understand what the original point is. Like, I'm generally confused. What yeah, is the point. news basically fear mongers society into thinking certain things instead of giving everyone all the facts they just give you all the crap and bad things instead of giving two sides the two sides of the coin okay to make your own decision on something whereas they just give you one side of the story and that's it okay but then okay so to you, right. i'm still saying what, you should be I'm still saying... given that side of the story mm. but also give the 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 other side of the hand like do you know what i mean I, or just tell people I, that there's I, not I much agree. to be worried about. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> that things are going I'm, to be okay in the end. I'm a bit torn on something because I'm a bit torn on the whole like coronavirus one, where like you, like the fact you told me that you you're going to be um, you're more likely to be elect uh, struck by lightning twice and then die from coronavirus if you're under the age or something, and which was which that wasn't reported on. I'm saying which at the beginning. Hmm. Yeah, I'm at the of, beginning, I'm, yeah, I'm, we didn't I'm know. So like, because, yeah. Obviously, yeah, give them, we don't know what this is, this is worst case scenario, that, that, to get people to realise, like, what the, the gravity of the situation is. But then, but then you, you claim that as fear mongering. That yeah, no, the, but then continuing to do that after three okay. or four weeks, after we get information on it, or more yeah. information on it, and then you just don't so report what, that What have they said afterwards has kind of been fear mongering? The continuing of this many people, this many new cases, but, this many yeah, people have died facts. without saying that's facts and well, that's, that's necessary information. Yes, and should we should that, but I'm confused give. because I feel we should still be afraid of it. I can still go out well, and the thing is, I've, yes, I've, but I've, give I've people seen... the other side. But, but I've seen cases, but the things, no, the things I have, I have just going to increase the cases. I have seen news uh, reported where they're like zero new cases of uh, coronavirus. Like I, oh, I get notifications on my phone when it goes zero new cases of COVID nineteen reported today, and it's like something like a hundred active cases or something like that, some random yeah. number active case. But like it's just reporting the number, just giving you the numbers and the, like the facts of the situation. Like, yeah, I, but I'm I, saying, what I'm saying case, is you're not given like, all of the facts. But in some cases you can't. You can't di like there's some cases you just can't divulge all the information about certain people. You're only allowed. To, but that I, shouldn't I, be the way. But it's not. That's what they use for. That's what the new privacy. That, that's yeah. That's, that's law. Like law. That's, but that's not yeah. privacy. How, what? But how do? How would you know that from uh, okay, the Carol, average you age? You have a condition. Of... You have a condition, right? Would you? Would you like if I just start walking around and be like, "Yeah, Carol's got this." No, because that, that's because you should. Yeah, you don't go, asking, Carl. This, yeah, this person people, asking, and they live at this address. Of, people of like this. This is what happened. Like, I understand what you're. I understand what you're trying to say, but like you can give people you, information. Without giving them your name and address and PBS number, like. But I, I'm, sh but, but okay, that's okay. I, let's say you can. It's not that's not the news's fault that they're not doing it. They can be sued. It's not their fault. Like they're just following God. No, but if you, why can't you go? How would you know who, uh, the if, if they give um right the average age of um people that died today was eighty five and all of them had asthma. How would you know who who who's who? You said all of them. What do you mean? So how are you meant? How, how how would you get like find out who died from the average age of someone was eighty five? So they basically, what what Carl's trying to say is he doesn't want people. He want he, he doesn't want to say, oh, Mary died. Yeah. Of asthma, right? Mm -hmm. He wants to just say, three three people who have died had asthma, to show that it's people who are at risk and not just random people dying. Like you're not, I'm saying, I'm still saying, I agree with, yeah, you should be told, yeah, this many people are dying and blah, 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 but you're, you're, we're not being given, or the news doesn't give, um, the in full. like the full picture. 
Do you know what I mean? I still think you should be you should be told, yeah, um, there was uh, twenty mass shooting, uh, blah blah blah. But then you should also be given, um, I don't know, uh, Ireland stopped um, knife crime by twenty percent last month, or something that would, like that. No, do, that do you get me? Oh man, somebody in a town near me got slashed the other day. Oh, I've seen that actually. Mm. Well, Continue. Yeah, okay. But yeah, like, you're not, n nobody's given oh, my I, point. I, 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 agree, I agree with you when it comes to, like, they may not, you know, divulge the whole facts. But then to say, like, they don't, they don't like, I agree with you saying, like, they don't show the full picture sometimes. Yeah. But then to, for them to, like, to leave to, like, fear mongering, I'm like, I, that, that's where I don't make the But that's why, that's why it's fear mongering, because you're only given um, everyone's dying and the world's on fire and there's um, this many rapists out there and there's blah, 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 blah. Bah. and you're not given oh you know what the world i know the world is a bad place but you're also not given oh think... you, there's hope at the end of the, the fucking tunnel mm. usually usually when most people when most like deaths of coming rest like are reported they say the average age and then they use a blanket term they, if they if they all had it they would like, they would say underlying health condition but okay but isn't the point of this about the fear mongering which i don't think anybody can argue doesn't happen like fear mongering definitely happens by the media. Um, like you can I, look I, up, you can look up the media fear mongering and see hundreds of examples of it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they'll definitely exaggerate some things. It's just hmm. like they posted yeah, up. Why, why should they be allowed exaggerate? So, um, mm. like, um, there's some uh, funny, there's some funny examples. There's some funny like examples. There was one where this woman, she was in like a war torn country or wherever. She's like, I'm fenced out in this area. There's like a war behind me, wherever. And then, like, you see the soldier just like walk around the fence, like it's one little tiny fence. And it's always, oh, it's fucking gas. I'm going to find it actually. Mm. Like, did, did but, you, did you guys hear of Chaz? The, no. the central, no. or I don't know, it's something, something. It, but, okay. Basically, I hope I don't get this wrong. I probably will. But a portion of Seattle, I think it was. Oh, uh, they was... locked down seven blocks or something. Yeah, and it was like oh, reclaimed yeah, 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 by yeah. the civilians or whatever. Yeah. And they're like running it themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I was reading up about it and it was all like about how dangerous this was. And Trump was like, we're going to fuck them in the ass and get yeah. it back. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then... It came out that one of the major images that was being shared and used in all of the news sources was doctored. And it was an image of, like, the you oh, are now entering Chaz or whatever. And yeah. a guy standing in front of it with a massive gun. And it turned out it was it, doctored. There was never a guy with a gun there at yeah, all. Like There was also other thing i seen of, um, and I know this is American uh, kind of thing, but... Uh, that they used images from uh, what's the movie called World War Z World War Z um as to show like oh this is kind of like live pictures from wherever they are in in thing there's also another thing I was watching oh, on I can't remember what network it was but they go uh they said something along the lines of uh so a study has come out that um <laughs> Jesus um Christ. I don't know, it's something like... <laughs> what? Just what Peter put in the Discord. It's just incorrect. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, I don't see anything. <laughs> oh. What? Yeah. That's not what the news what was. The fuck? Yeah, like, listen, I'll remind you. I'll remind you. Remi yeah, I'll okay, we'll go on to after this. Just so I don't forget. <laughs> the, um... So they put up, uh, standing six feet away might not be enough for um, stopping the virus. And then they literally, the next sentence out of the reporter's mouth was, this study wasn't peer-reviewed or basically published in any scientific journal anywhere. It was just some Donny uh, fucking made up a study. Where, like that, that adds to the fear-mongering of uh, people only listen to, oh, uh, six feet isn't enough. But you know what? The information that we got it from was... Uh, fucking pat the baker like yeah yeah and I don't that know. thing it happens. what john said the doc the the images are doctored and 
blah, 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 and Did you see the thing that, that Trump tweeted that got flagged as um, harmful media or something like that by Twitter? Yeah. He tweeted, like... He was tweeting about fake news. Do you know what Trump is always on about yeah, fake yeah, news? Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't, if it, if he doesn't agree with it, it's fake news. Um, well, he put up a tweet trying to inform people about what fake news is, and he was like, so the it was a one minute clip, and then like the first twenty five seconds of it or thereabouts was like, so it was it was a video of a black child like maybe a year and a half old running away from a white child that's also a year and a half old and underneath it it said cnn uh, toddler ba- toddler running away from baby racist or something like that yeah. and then it it said now what actually happened and it showed the full clip and like they were friends and they were just playing or whatever but the thing was he put cnn on it like he made this clip or he found this clip and then he just stuck CNN, which is oh, a real yeah, thing yeah. Like he was at just the bottom left. To... Yeah. yeah. So basically, he was saying that everything that CNN does is fake news and that they're not. Yeah. I just Twitter. thought it was kind of funny, but Twitter like flagged it as harmful media or something like that. But um, I just thought it was uh, it related to what we were talking about. I don't entirely agree. Okay. All right. See you later, man. Oh, he's back. Yeah, Carol, I don't know. I don't entirely agree, but I don't entirely disagree. It's more than I'm, just I'm, a black or I'm white, very, you know? Excuse me, by the way. No worries. I'm very much on the fence on this, because I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I would say you made points that I agree with, and you made points that I disagree with. Yeah. But it's a good, it was a good topic. Now, I put in the, the topics thing. I, I, I know it's bad. I, listen, man, I don't know what it is. Like, I just saw it on, like, YouTube. Like, okay. Right, so um, it's it's the Chris Dillia thing. So Peter just put into the topics, Chris Dillia rape, which isn't what's it about. So I, I, I swear to basically I thought, like, the... See, the, 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 the news it, fear-mongering that there's so No, because it didn't thing. say rape. No, but, it wasn't. And it wasn't news. It was just on here YouTube. We go. I just saw, like, I was just on YouTube. Right? That's so, news. So yeah, what's Chris Dillia has been accused. Channel. Chris Dillia has been accused. Are you going to say with Grace Iron Man? Are you going to say we're news now? Yes, we are. We have a yeah. They're just spreading information. Yeah, stop. We use we're, our we're go, we're going. I'm going to start a spin off news channel called the Viral News oh, Jesus thing Christ, and then just don't. fucking clickbait everything and. <laughs> His tweet got copyright striked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Chris Dalia got accused of soliciting uh, pic- uh, nudie pictures. and un- So what happened was, is that everybody's watching, right? Is uh, he cutting in and out for everybody no, else? You, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, uh, throughout the whole thing, this has been cutting out. Uh, am, I st- am I going now? I can hear everybody else fine, though. It's just Adam. I don't know. Yeah, sure, yeah it's yeah. fine now. It's fine now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Wait, so do I need to do the start part again? Yeah, just... Yeah. Okay, so Sorry, he was yeah. accused of um, soliciting... Solicit... I think. Hey, solicit... What? Soliciting... Soliciting, uh, soliciting um, underage pic- uh, nudie pictures from a, an underage girl. Um, and basically it came out with... Has everybody watched season two of You? Yeah. So the character he plays is a... Uh, uh, a, a, yeah, a pedophile pervert kind of person. Comedian. Uh, and he plays... He's basically playing himself... As he is, and he's a comedian. And it comes out that term. he's a pervert. Yeah. Mm. So it came out, and this girl tweeted saying that, um, "All right, like, are you kidding me? They uh, they actually cast uh, Chris D'Elia as as literally himself in real life, and mm. she had attached emails between the two of them of, I don't. It was the two of them talking anyway, mm. and this was when she was sixteen. Mm. So that's kind of fucked, but um. And basically, everyone's just like, "Holy shit, is this real? Is it real?" And nobody really knows. Chris Lee has denied it. He came out and said that um, he said, "I never knowingly, like, said, uh, you know, did anything strange with, um, or you know, did, did any stuff illegal. with an underage girl. Like, if she was underage, she like, he mm. didn't know basically, or she lied or whatever." Yeah. And uh, and she says, "I've never." He's even said, "I've never." I think he said, "I've never talked to the person who did the thing." So it's. Mm kind of half thing but it's also kind of his career is pretty much ruined because a lot of people believed it um 
then other other people started coming out. Yeah, a lot of other people then started saying the same of thing when he's at shows and stuff. Yeah, so like, oh, I'm at a, I'm, I'm here. Come, come, hang out with you me or whatever. You know what I mean? Really. Yeah, shit like that. And he is known as a, as a man who basically has sex a lot, like a ladies' man, right? Mm. So that's kind of where. Same. So he he kind of does do that sort of stuff. Um, in the sense of he probably would hit up girls and and say not like not consensually and totally legal, like meaning just, it's it, it's believable like yeah just hit, hitting yeah, up girls and just saying like, booty like, holes, like yeah yeah and um, there's nothing necessarily booty wrong calls. with that it would only be wrong if the girl was of course saying no and then he said no you have to come or I'll kill your own family, which I don't think that has come out yet but um no there is some blackmail thing over um. Uh, I think he had. I seen now. I don't. I have no idea if this is actually true or not. But um, the girl sent him photos, um, and she he said he said something along the lines of, "Oh, I'm in such and such a town. Come like, come around or whatever." And then she was like, "No, I don't want that." And then she he said, "Um, oh, I'm gonna uh release the photos or something. It's something along those lines. That's not. I'm yeah. paraphrasing heavily there, but." There was some sort of blackmail thing in one one case at least. Yeah, and it's 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 still up in the air. No one I no one really knows if it, it's true because he is he has denied the initial said he doesn't know the woman in the first one first of all. So that kind of I think it's not true. And especially it was such a weird thing because so she's eighteen now. So she like waited. Do you know what I mean? Like she waited sure. until she was of age to s- say that. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because who gives a fuck? It might, it might be real, and either way, then it just, maybe just took her courage or whatever. God, you know, God's strength or whatever. But, um, uh, yeah, it was strange. And then, um, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. Basically, his career is fucked. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, 100%. I think so, yeah. I think he'll, 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 he'll like, he, he was kind of on and upwards for a long while now. With his comedy and acting, he's gonna—he was getting a lot more acting stuff rather than just being a successful comedian. Because he is a, a very successful comedian. I don't really like him, but like in a comedian sense, I find him funny when he's off, off camera, I guess, like off the stage. Yeah. He's, on he's, he's a funny person, but when he's on, yeah. when he's in the thing, it's just not entertaining at all. But um, anyway, that doesn't matter. I mean, if it's fake, he's gonna get some bomb ass material. Yeah, true. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah, it was actually really sad. I watched. Do, do you guys watch um, the Fighter and the Kid? No. Uh, Peter, you yeah, I do, I do. yeah. So it's Brian Callen and Brendan Schaub. Brian Callen's another comedian. Uh, Brendan Schaub is an ex. Are you? Are you, are you found it out since when? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know a while ago. Not not too long. But um, because well, I'm like we should have a conversation about this, but yeah. Uh, so Brendan Schaub is an ex MMA fighter and a kind of upcoming comedian now. He he retired and then decided to go into comedy. Because he had a lot of comedian friends who could support and stuff. Mm. And uh, the latest, or like the second latest uh, thing, when they talked about it, I think it was just at the end, mm. they said, okay, we have to bring it up. And it was super sad, because Brian, Brian is kind of controlled and kind of just like, look, we don't know anything. We hope it's not real. Do you know what I mean? And we're, yeah. you know, we're try- we, we haven't talked to him or anything. We haven't been in contact with him. Mm. And uh, they're just hoping that it's not real. And then Brendan just breaks down like actually starts crying like he can't talk because Mm -hmm. and it's one of those things where someone in the comments had said it and it was correct in a sense of you could see that brendan kind of looked up to him as a comedian like as an upcoming comedian and he he, you know found him extremely funny you can see it on the podcast on every podcast that he's on yeah and it's it's just heartbreaking to watch dude to just see someone's like not like hero i guess but like oh it was fucked it was hard to watch Especially because he's a big ass man as well, dude. Yeah. Like he's an M. He punches people. He punched people for a living, and now he's crying over his friend. It was hard to watch, but yeah. I don't think there's been any updates on that shit. No, I've checked his Twitter and yeah, YouTube and everything. It hasn't come out. I say you have to wait. I think it'll probably like just sail past. To be honest, I don't trial think. Trial and stuff. He'll yeah, go I, quiet. Yeah, yeah, I, I, don't I feel like that's the trend of the internet. If he, uh, I, he just to do is just deny, deny, deny. Yeah, he's not the first person Lay to low. go through it. Lay low. Um, I mean, it probably it, happened, and it's all out of context. Do you know? In, you know, in that yeah. sort of way, like hopefully, it's another one of those. I feel it didn't happen for both people. Like, say, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. And like, it, and if the thing is, if it doesn't, like, if it wasn't true, 
hope like I feel like the internet will get behind him like they did like on Zeus. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of weird people out there. Yeah. It's... Like even if it comes out as true, a lot of people are still going to be like, or you've been known as a as a pedophile or pervert or whatever, and I, I it just it can't be good. Basically, I think. I think it'll it'll take someone to be like, okay, we'll give him a chance. Do you know it'll what I mean? Dump, like, they, can't, the... they, can't, they can't then go and slut shame him. They're going against all their morals. Then. No, I know, I know. That's not what I'm, what I'm saying. Is just um, when someone gets bad rep, oh, whether okay, it's real yeah. or, or not real, it's going to stick with them because people are going to use that against That is so them. shitty. Yeah, I know, I know. But people just, love it to hate. happen, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that shit's fucked. John, you had something in there about New Zealand? Yeah, something. did you see the... Um, I actually just thought about this while you were talking about the news thing. Did you see the video that New Zealand put out about, like, consent and stuff? I don't... No. I feel like I've seen a... might have seen a TikTok or some shit on it, but I might have skipped past it. I don't... I can't say that I have. I'll do me to look. Uh, yeah, we could probably watch it. I, I don't think, you know, yeah, it'll be, like, striked or anything, but... Um, um, it doesn't matter if it is. Uh, yeah, none of that matters. I'm not... Well, I mean, a strike would matter <laughs> if it's claimed. It doesn't oh, yeah, matter. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is it? Um, consent just, ad? Just, yeah, just look up consent ad. I don't know. I just, it should come up. It's, um, oh, it's yeah, really I've good. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to find... Where's like, it's funny, list? and it gets the point across. And it's it's yeah. very New Zealand, which I think is funny. I don't know. <laughs> just something about New Zealand people. They're like all Korg from Thor Ragnarok. I think this is it. Um... I can't. The one with the porn stars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um. <laughs> Peter's like, oh no. Okay, share your thing. I'm yeah, not yeah, allowed to watch porn. Okay, it should actually look better now. I think if you guys can see, you yeah, should it look does. Better. Yeah, yeah, we can like yeah, read the so. writing and uh, stuff. I just had to change it in Discord. It was actually really simple. But um, ready? Ready? Is everyone in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hiya, I'm Sue. This is Derek. We're here because your son just looked us up online, you know, to watch us. Matt! Matt, darling, there's some people here to see you! <laughs> and he's a big so man. He watches you yeah, online. He is. Yeah, you know, on his yeah. laptop. iPad, PlayStation. Mm, his phone, PlayStation? your phone. Smart TV projector. Yeah, anyway, we usually projector. perform for adults, but your son's just Smart a kid. kid. He might not know how relationships actually work. We don't even talk about consent, do we? Now we just get straight to it. Yeah, and I'd never act like that in real life. <laughs> Oh, I no. ah, lolly. <laughs> okay, Sandra, stay calm. You know what to do here. All right, Maddie. It sounds like it's time to have a talk about the difference between what you see online and real life relationships. No judgment. Many young Kiwis are using porn to learn about sex. Keep it real online. Get help and advice. Excellent. And keep it real I swear he is a. Oh, that's a great eye. I think I've seen him, though. The that's dude? A great eye. Yeah, I think I've seen him plowing some bitches out of it. Oh, nice. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty funny, actually. Yeah, so I think, like... I like the way the uh, kid's, like, 12. That's my favorite part. Yeah. So but, I think that's, that's like, a, a good, um... That, like, it's a... So it ha something like that had to happen eventually, and I, I kind of hope that more things like that happen now. You need to, like, start educating people. Yeah, for real. Both like, things. I ordered pizza the other day, and the girl didn't even have sex. I didn't understand that. <laughs> and then the a pastime... Really? That's never happened to me. Yeah, and then fucking Carl got stuck the other day. And then, I I, I mean, naturally, I just started going. You know, I tried to yeah, undo I, some I got stuff. stuck in the washing machine. And he fucking told me to get off him. What Wait a, a minute, what? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I was confused. Speaking of pizza... Yeah. <laughs> Just speaking of washing machines. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> I think I might order myself some food, you know. Oh, you fat bitch, man. Uh, you? I had I... Chinese earlier. I was unreal. Oh, you fat bitch, man. Oh, you, you shut your stupid ass, bro. <laughs> you shut your. You probably had dinner and then you're going to have a. You're the one that's 400 pounds. Well. Hey. Hey. 395. Oh, you put Me, on meet like him, Meet him at 300, John. <laughs> Um, out of the last three days, I put on 200 pounds. Oh, Jesus Christ, Peter. Why do I believe you? It's all water, <laughs> wait. <laughs> I'm getting a kebab. He ate another person. Uh, he ate the baby. 
<laughs> oh, oh no! Two hundred pound face. He kicked it into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this has been a weird podcast. Yeah, it has. Oh, we we doing some brawl hall after this? Oh yeah, yeah I gotta yeah, get dude. my pent out ag- pent up aggression now. Uh, oh. Is there any any games upcoming that you guys are look looking forward to? No, not really. Right, really sick, to be honest, man. good conversation. <laughs> How, how's the last of it? Uh, it's really good. It's um. Is what you expected? Yeah, it it is what I expected. It's it. I'm taking my sweet time with it. I'm I'm like eleven hours into the game now, but somebody else who's like just trying to get through the game as quickly as possible would probably be like six hours in and at the same point that I am. I'm really yeah. taking my time with it, and it's really, really, really good. The visuals in it are just insane. Like I can't even comprehend what games are gonna look like on the ps5 if this is what games on the ps4 yeah. look like it's actually insane and uh yeah you know like it's just it's just one of them games the story is insane the gameplay is really good you know it's just it's made by a huge company they had lots of men uh well lots of people lots of <laughs> i'm sure of all genders <laughs> um, <laughs> and walks of life working on this game for years and uh their hard work has paid off. It's unreal. It's really, really, really good. And goddamn, does it really pull on your heartstrings. Um, if you've played the first one and you watch like the first two hours of the second one, you're like, man, I can't believe that just happened. But uh, yeah, really good game. I recommend. A lot of fun. I'm going to play it more later on tonight and stay up all night again. Wow. Play it. Yeah. It's toxic. Because we only have one... Uh, 4K TV in the house, and uh, I want to play it in 4K. Nice. Yeah, so I have to play it in the living room. I just spent 20 quid on food. <sighs> That's kind of sick. I, man. 20 quid? Shut your fucking phone, man. How much What's did you get? Much, to be honest. What? Uh, 20? You could get literally, you could feed yourself for like three days out of McDonald's with that. I spent about 30 quid every time I got Thanks, man. Wait, what did you buy? Me? Yeah. Alright, so I got a 1.25 litre of Fanta. Nice. Standard. I bought taco chips. Appetizer. Nice. That's that's 550. And then I bought a large chicken kebab, which is 8 quid. Does uh, Big Bites want to sponsor the podcast? Nope. Does Just Eat want to sponsor the podcast? (laughs) Just eat. Oh, man, that'd be fucking sick. Imagine. Just eat. I mean, I take food as payment. Yeah, same. If they just ordered stuff for us and we tried it. Yeah, that'd be unreal. <laughs> um. Man, I was gonna say some. Oh yeah. Speaking of spending twenty euro, I turned on my computer today. I haven't been on my computer in like two or three days. And uh, I just went on Steam, and it was like, oh, buy the last three Elder Scrolls games for 20 euro. And I was like, fuck it, why not? I own them on everything else. So I might, just, might as well buy them again. <laughs> so now I now I own Skyrim, Special Edition, Oblivion, Game of the Year Edition, and Morrowind, whatever fucking edition. Yeah. Um, on every console that I own, which is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Bar the Switch. I don't have it on the Switch, but I'll probably get it on the Switch eventually. Someday I get bored. It's like a shit. It's the shit one though. It's, it's not like it's like the mobile game, Rail Skyrim or something. No, it's 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 proper Skyrim. Oh. On the Switch, yeah. I mean, it probably has like shit graphics. Like you can get The Witcher Three on the Switch. Yeah, I've seen that. Switch is kind of nutty. Ah. That's oh. Um, alright, I'm tired. Oh wait, we have wholesome content, we have wholesome content. We have wholesome content, it's not from me. Peter today. Uh, let's Don't get that wholesome content. Yeah, you're, gonna s- you're gonna see the kid I kicked. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man, I, I don't like the fucking title of this shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, headphone user warning. Nice. Wait, I'm a headphone user. Hang on, let me just pump pump that shit up. Oh no. 
Oh, Why is it the ear rape edition? I wish I could get back on TikTok. <laughs> that was class, man. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, man? That was shitty wholesome content. At least my <laughs> content is actually wholesome. <laughs> There's nothing satisfying about that whatsoever. I mean, the scream is pretty good. Like, <laughs> yeah. it was a good scream. It was solid. And he lifted them weights way above his head, too. Like, goddamn. Exactly. He completed a full set, man. He's, God, he's probably stronger boy. than you are. Yeah, you little bitch. Fuck? <laughs> stronger than me. Definitely. That's not hurt. Alright, then. Boy. Yeah, <laughs> then uh, them skinny calves of yours. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. even even I beat Peter at arm wrestling. One. True. Yeah. And I beat and I beat you twice. I don't. I remember you beating me once. I don't remember another time. We did it twice. Did we? I believe. Yeah. Well, I believe you, but I don't remember it. <laughs> was uh, was one of them with Danny, and another one was not Danny? Oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think you might be right. All right, that's okay. I'll take a one third win rate. It's all about it. Against Peter. It's I mean, sorry, I'm Kyle. I'm undefeated against everybody else, so. Mm. It's alright, Kyle. Yeah, ne next time I see you, me and my cow is gonna walk up right to you. And what look? Punch, punch you, man! You little midget. Squirt. Oh. Oh. oh man. That's oh, wrong. do you want some aloe vera for that? Do you? Imagine That's being wrong. five foot I'm, six. I'm getting you cancelled. <laughs> cancelled. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> racist. Damn. We could watch, um, Did he? We could yeah. watch Chris Hadfield make dessert in space. Wait, can you do that? Do they, do they have like ovens in space? How do you light a fire in space? That's fine. You, can. uh, you can't. <laughs> yeah, no I suppose, because the, the oxygen... Yeah, and even if there is oxygen, it'll just burn up in There's that one here. little bubble and... Here we go, guys. I found out his name. It's Chris Hadfield. He has Canada. his own show called Chris's Canada. Kitchen. <laughs> I've already had lunch. Oh, what a so, G. Uh, this is what the American start. taxpayer Let's is see. paying for. Shows, um, it's Canada. Dumbass. Chocolate pudding oh, cake. Sorry. Oh, imagine getting chocolate pudding cake so up the way in space, bro. Is... What Holy fucking mass I sent him. Canada is on here. Bro, he's got something on the screen. Something on the lens. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's inside a screen, like... Sticking it to the wall. Yeah. Then... What was that? He Grab seemed disappointed in his scissors there. It's a long container. Reach inside. Man, if he says just eat it then, I'm gonna be pissed off. Oh. Chocolate pudding cake. That's it? You didn't prepare it's it, like you what? opened a bag! What? It's gonna be hard to eat. He's That's not even it. using the spoon. Is What's it? the point of the spoon? That didn't look very hard at all. Mm. Very good. How many views is on that shit? Mm -mm. Man, I could do that. Send me out to space, I'll do that. Be good with Ten million. Oh. Ten and a half million. Here's a cup of oh, it's frozen. Oh, is it? Yeah. Whenever you, like, change window, it... If freezes. I do this? Oh, there, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Did it fix? Yeah. <laughs> He's having a coffee Fixed now. Carefully oh, open the straw. Disgusting. disgusting. There was nothing careful about that at all. You just willy-nilly that. What? He didn't even finish the... This is, giving is, it, is it hot? Is the coffee hot? Oh, it is hot. Coffee. Did Why he put it in crying? the microwave? What is, what is happening? Food's not so bad. It's like he's he he has a gun to his head. Oh, it is Canada. Shout out to whoever said that. Man, oh, fucking idiots. What else is there? Canada Space Academy, Academy Space Canada. Let's talk about space food. Oh, he has a legit intro. In the early days of space exploration. Man, I don't want to talk to you, bro. Make the fucking food, dude. We had to substitute for bread, specially packaged. Bro. <laughs> tortilla. How did he? How did he turn into a tortilla like that? Thanks to that process, Does he like just like? Can be good just hold the months. fucking thing. So what Man, it's fucking cooler if he lets it go. We're gonna get our peanut butter, no, he has to just keep it catching it. Get our honey, I did that to be honest. We will have peanut butter honey sandwich in space. Peanut butter and honey we'll sandwich. That sounds unreal. I feel like that would be an absolute disaster. A weightless tortilla. Okay, we got one tortilla. Oh! Oh no, he lost it. Well, if you just held it. I love the transitions. 
Oh, that was sick. Movie maker. We have space scissors. They're attached by a tether so they don't go floating up. Take the scissors. Because that could be dangerous. Cut open the peanut butter. Well, I mean. The peanut butter's open. Squeeze why is it? it the tortilla. Why is it blurred? So I don't want to see the brown, probably. And now, a that is not a lot of. Hey, I noticed something cool about the honey. Instead of the bubble sitting up at the top, because there's no gravity to make it float up, the bubble is floating in the middle. Whoa. Okay, all closed up. And the I feel like he thinks he's way cooler than he is. Man, he is a fucking cool dude. Bro, bro, he's literally in space. Shut the fuck up. He's cooler than you, Carl. Hmm. I could grow he a better stash than that. He just says not so bad for everything. Pretty delicious. Well, my hands are all sticky. Got to clean up. We don't have a sink. We don't have running water. Got to wash yourself up really? some other way. Disinfectant wipes. Oh, that was oh, great content. Was great content. Nice Better than our content. Space station. This goes in the trash. Lunch on hit off. Delicious. Elon Musk, where you at? Just send us out. When where does it? Oh, if if the world. If everybody in the world died, like if there was a plague and we were reduced down to like factions and shit, like in The Last of Us, Coronavirus. what would happen? Yeah, well, yeah, anything. <laughs> um, what would happen to like the International Space Station? Just die up there, wouldn't you? Ah, frick! I did it again! I messed up Discord. Ah, there we go, I fixed it. Nice job, man. Um,. Like eventually you'd you'd probably survive up there for a long while. Like I'm sure they have a lot of food and stuff. Oh yeah. But then goes, like eventually the they die and then is the ISS like in perpetual like steady orbit or is it being controlled, like are adjustments being made and stuff to the point where eventually it'll just crash down to Earth or something? Cool. <laughs> um yes i agree with what you said i agree i think so oh i wasn't even watching sure. the stream what i wasn't oh, even we, watching we used to watch shit. man it's i've been watching shit for a while this little tiny hockey puck well so time to your question john space. yes i i, so I think it would crash down that'd be sick i don't think it would no, is there any engines and shit on it yeah, but they have, wouldn't to set, sure, they have to set up an experiment today. They're in orbit. Is it not just in an orbit? Yeah. And so when you open up yeah, but like adjustments no have to be made. And also there's yeah, other things in orbit, like something fresh. will eventually collide with it. Yeah. But sure, there would not be a bloke on it to just go, alright, we'll make the adjustment. No, but like it, eventually they'd die because they'd have no way back to get back to Earth. Well then, does it matter? That's the... Okay, don't worry about it. Whatever, man. Have you guys? I'm I'm turning this off. Have you guys? Have you guys ever seen Life? How do I stop watching this without? I don't know. Yeah. I have to watch it. I have to watch it. Chad Hadfield makes you watch it. No, the little red thing at the bottom. Oh. Just click that. Yeah, but then it messes up the recording. Oh. 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 Oh, the microphone's going. You still watching it? Oh. That is pretty satisfying. Okay. So here's well, that is moist. Holy shit. Wait, Should what's he doing? Enough? Fuck the, the whole electrics of the whole thing. And now let's, let's start ringing it out. Uh, put a bit of effort into it, man. Jesus Christ. That's uh, I want them just to squeeze it. Okay, so what I'm gathering is he's just wasting a load of supplies. Yeah, well, I mean, it's too no, I mean, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna drink it. Why are people clapping for him? I thought that was the Peter. All over my hands Canada. Oh, look at fucking intern Andy okay, down so the bottom the there. Oh, look at him go, man. And the answer to the question is... He's like, for fuck's sake, Chris, we're crashing. The clock, and then because of There's the aliens outside. He's like, ne water, he's never been to space before. It, um, but the it water realizes it's leaky. Along the surface of the clock, and then I kind of want to put my mouth on it, though. Almost like you had jello on your hands, or gel on your hand. And it'll just stay there. Oh, his Wonderful. Look at his watch. His watch is satisfying, and though. That's yeah. How it's moving is satisfying. That's, that's, that's what time zone is he in? Like a, uh, it's a like Rolex a right there. Boy. Why do you need a watch in space, bro? Just don't... <laughs> what the fuck? Perfectly. Meredith and Kendrick, congratulations. That's Great annoyed idea. me, man. 
Fuck that guy. Alright, oh, Chris Hadfield's kind of my dad, though. I don't know. He's, he's space ping pong. And now we've got an interesting question what? from Cody again here with us. Uh, in, I'm glad uh, it's frozen. Uh, un if... Undo it and redo it. The, uh, I'll just full screen it. Yeah, there we are. Wait, this isn't Chris. It's Turn really it off. Funny. Shut it off. Yes, <laughs> does, he, does he show up? Play oh, he's painting with water. There you go. We can have games oh, on children. A Peter, be careful. Oh, space ping pong. Stupid, man. This guy's gay. Is my guy actually on? All right, that's the wholesome content done. First okay. homosexual Can man in space. Bye. All right. <laughs> I think Peter's done. <laughs> Peter's food I'm, is gonna I'm, be here I'm, soon. It, I'm waiting, man. I'm, I'm just. Oh, I'm just buying. We gotta get part. a food review. You know, I mean, yeah, he's had it so many times. You know. <laughs> no, no. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. Hey, how dare you? They don't know wait, that. Wait a minute, Mister. Well, there they do. All right, I'm calling it. This week hey, has, this out. week's episode has out. been lit. Uh, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but it it turned out well. It hasn't I, been the worst. True. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, Peter enjoyed it. Peter came yeah. alive during it. He was like, man, the thought of food like, and arguing. Yeah. <laughs> Ranting. Man, I love arguing. I love arguing. Yeah, I love yeah, arguing noticed. too. And oh, something actually. Next week you can do something like. All right, so we're, cl we're shutting down the episode <laughs> now. <laughs> <gasps> no, I'm kidding. I'm Go ahead. I'm leaving. Um, no, 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 don't leave. I've already to do so much editing because Carl kept leaving. <laughs> no, um, no. Uh, I was gonna say next week you do a thing where it's like you know the change my mind type shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We each bring come up, like, up with one. Yeah, we're gonna bring, come up with an argument that like for something you don't. Transgenders like, aren't real people. Oh, oh, Ended oh, on oh. that. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Alrighty then. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. That'll fill up some time. Yeah, that is yeah. a good idea. Four that that feels like incoming. that's like a Peter rants for twenty minutes segment. <laughs> <laughs> Peter shuts Peter down everyone's beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peter brings up something and then argues with himself. Vegetarians <laughs> aren't actually helping the planet. There we go. Ooh, Great. That could be a good one. Vegans probably are though. I don't know. I don't think they are. Vegetarians. All right. See you next week. All yeah. right. Uh, oh wait, home slices. Home. See you later, home slices. Br Brennan's <laughs> bread gang. What kind of what kind of bread do you all eat? What's the de facto bread in your house? Carl, you seem like you eat brown bread, like because you're a basic bitch. I only have it on the weekend. Okay. I have a little bit of soda bread on the weekend. Man, I have like six we're, we're, slices we're, of bread a day. We're toast, toast, toasty, toasty, toast? yeah, toasty. I think it is. Toasty bread. Lots of salt toasty. Toast toast bread. Is that white bread? Know. Yeah, it's just yeah. white bread. I get toasties, yeah. That's yeah, bread. toasties, yeah. Brad, sometimes yeah. Brennan's as well, but I mean, yeah. uh, depends if they have toasties or not. Yeah, if you don't have toasty, we get Brennan's. I don't even. Uh, okay. I don't okay. even know what these are. Um, um, what, what bread do you have? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't actually look at the packaging. It's like a. What? It's like a red packaging. Oh, you're a Pat the Baker man. Uh, no, Pat no, it's definitely not. Definitely. Oh yeah, it is it toasty. Be, no, yeah. yeah, you're right. Uh, we get toasty. I mean, Johnson, it, Mooney, and Brian. Yeah, I thought it was red. Yeah. It's actually yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. Yeah. I'm a colorblind dandy. Colorblind. Yeah, I'm actually what, colorblind. Are you not guys. racist. What? Well, no, well. I'd never be not racist. <laughs> 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 All right, we end it there. And on that. Nope. Think. And on, on that, that bomb shell. Da 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 food is here. <laughs> All right. Okay, right. Bye. Peace Later. out. Bye. Oh wait, oh. I have to turn off the recording, not leave the call. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>